back in CC. I got a cool pick set from John and the tight spot buster. Thanks, John. That's really cool, man. Thanks a lot. So we got all that cool stuff from John, HVAC, and CC the cat. Thanks, John. That's really cool, man. Um, so we're going to go out to look at this ice maker right now. It's a little tiny Manitowoc. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's had a leak before, and I can't find the damn leak in this thing. And we're going to try and find it right now. So let's get out there and see if we can't find where the leak's at on this thing. It's been kicking my butt, so I think I've checked twice now. This will be the third time checking it, so hopefully it's big enough to show its face. So let's get out there. A little ice maker right here. And I've been over this thing a bunch, but I just noticed this coming out right now. Look at this. So I got the leak detector warming up. We'll give it a try. That one looks pretty dry. That one gotta be a leaker. So let's we'll take a look. I got the coil off the hot gas valve right here too for checking. And oh, that's a big old tell they stack them under there like that. There's a compressor back there, the condenser coils over here, so we'll take a look at some stuff here. Let me get the leak detector warmed up. So it got, had gotten hot. It's a dead one. Okay, I got done with that one. That was kind of funny. I probably missed the leak on that one because I always had my gauges on it with the nitrogen in there. I think when I went out there the first the first time or the last time I should say. It still had some Freon in it, so I put the gauges on and bumped it up with nitrogen and leak checked and I never found the leak. Because <laughs> my gauges were on it, that's so funny. Oh well, it happens. I got another ice maker to go look at, similar size at a coffee shop right now, so let's get over there. He's thinking with all the rain we had, water might have got in there. He says that thing's absolutely getting bonkers. Now let's go take a look at it and see what it's doing. Maybe the circuit board got wet or something. Okay, so these new Manitowocs. Check this out. This is the UY model. UY-0310A161. The whole bin comes off. It slides forward. It slides forward, forward right off the machine. And it's real simple to do. And then there's your coil. You're never going to clean that coil without taking the bin off. So you got to take this one drain fitting off right here. There's some tabs up top in the back and some tabs in the front. Right here in the front. Two in the front, two in the back, and the drain, and then the wire for the interface, which you can see I've taken it off right here because I took the lid off. And then that wire plugs into the circuit board. And then that whole thing comes forward. There's your water pump in there, your dump valve, and that's how you're getting on to your high side, is right here, let's see, where's the low side tap, up here, there it is, it's right up there, very cool, okay, I got the condenser cleaning going, so if you're ever going to clean a condenser on one of these, you have to pull that bin off, you cannot get to that 
uh, can enter a coil without taking the bin off. Because this is going to be the front, and that's all you're going to have is that. This space here is all filled up. And I'll show you that when I get it back together. Another cool thing is no more ice thickness probe. It's got two little floats, one for the fill and one for your harvest. See the little floats in there? So one's for your water level, one's for your defrost. So that's kind of cool. Uh, with that interface getting wet and goofy right here, the machine wasn't running and it sits out here. So it's kind of neat. So this one here, the interface has failed. You can see if you unplug it down here at the board, you can still run the ice maker just like if it was on and, on and off. And then there's that opening, so you can see. So that's what it looks like from back here. That's how those ones go. So that's the first time I've had to take one of these apart. It's pretty cool. So this is all glued in there. It'll come out. I'll make a video on changing this out when I get the new part. This one's still under warranty. do it for that one I got to order up the switch it's still under it's gonna be under warranty for Manitowoc so that's what those little ice makers look like that's all dead shit got some cops doing it up there who knows what happened troll bola all right thanks for watching like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one